Hello everybody, welcome to Friday Night Stand Firm. I'm Jimmy Ventura and the booth with me is Throwek. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. I am looking forward to tonight. It's been a long time since I've sat in the booth with you and we are going to have some fun. Oh yeah, it'll be glorious. Probably. <laughs> 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 and first up, it's PC versus Calcium. They're playing each other in the Blood Bowl Super League in a tomorrow or a few days, whatever, something like that. Maybe tomorrow they're playing. Um, it would be good if I knew, wouldn't it? That would have made, that would have well, made this intro at some better. point. I have no, in, I have no idea. You have no interest in Blood Bowl Super League. How dare you! <laughs> this time tomorrow. This well, time I wasn't, tomorrow. I, I wasn't invited, so why would I care? Wow. Boom! I'm only joking. I'm only joking. I, I don't care. Hello, <laughs> <laughs> star. Yeah, it's it's definitely Friday. Hello, Jim, as well. Um, it's definitely Friday. So uh, yeah, calcium and PC are playing on Sunday, not tomorrow. <laughs> They're playing on Sunday the thirteenth. <laughs> of course, Sunday. Which is uh, not tomorrow. Not tomorrow. It's this Friday evening. <laughs> Woo! At uh, twenty hundred UTC. So yeah, what a what a clash this is going to be in the Blood Bowl Super League. But right now they're going to have a fucking Here scrap with their fists and knees. If there's one person that I admire more than PTK, it is this guy. Wow. That is that is uh, a glowing tribute. Well, he is my partner in crime, after all. <laughs> he, he does look a bit slimmer in this, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> He's looking good. He's got a big he package, hasn't he, in this, to be fair? He has got a massive package. And also in this, yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, I've had a, an amazing Friday today. It's been uh, brilliant. Looking forward to Saturday. Oh, I've got a feeling my Saturday's going to be shit, but um, today yeah, was too. good. <laughs> here he is. Here comes Calcium. No mercy in his dojo, baby. <laughs> yeah. yeah, PC is like four times as old as Calcium's usual opponent. That is that is Calcium's wife, Wendy. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it is for me, yeah. The reason that Wendy's a resolute is because we had the storyline where McNaughton was plowing her. <laughs> I love the fact that PC wrestles with a blindfold on. <laughs> God, it's pretty, it's pretty cool, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Oof. I wouldn't want to take him on on a dark night. <laughs> no. I'd, I'd need the lights on. <laughs> Enjoy every inch. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a bit of acting there from PC. Loves to. He loves to do it, given half a chance. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Pepper Biscuit. Hello, Pepper Biscuit. Wow. Brutal elbows Ooh. here from Peter. Yeah, from very Peter. much so. <laughs> I think he's broken. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ooh. He's, he's taking some brutality here. Oh, God. Oh, P PC not taking any crap, though. He's straight in. Straight in there. Yep. 
into the corner. What's he going to do with him here? Oh, good reversal. Straight out. Wendy not getting involved. Not yet, not yet. She's just uh, just Ooh. leaving it to the to the to her fella to just take take hold of it by himself here. We all know that she's really in control. <laughs> yep. We straight back in in the middle of the ring. And obviously this this performance uh, does determine what calcium is allowed to have for tea when he gets home. <laughs> yeah. Or if he's allowed any tea at all. Well, that's it. <laughs> GFI. Oh, yeah, cause it, well, it says PC, doesn't it? PC and GFI are interchangeable. Straight. This looks bad. Oh, those steel steps. Getting some use tonight. Absolutely. There's four thousand pound steel steps. Ooh. <laughs> it's great that PC does the acting, isn't it? I think that's it, Yeah. It is it does fit perfectly. <laughs> Ooh. Slap to the chops and then a closed fist. I'm not sure the ref was looking at that. Yeah. Brutal stuff. I mean, we all know there are, you know, this. There's a little bit of hate that runs deep between these two. <laughs> it wasn't, re you know, recently we saw them having a bit of a tussle uh, backstage. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. There's a bit of needle between the uh, the most dangerous man in Blood Bowl and um, PC and <laughs> and Calcio. <laughs> and the guy who only ever beats people up with with dwarves. <laughs> oh, here we go, though. A pile driver. Ooh. He's got him. He gets it. PC wins with the tombstone. Oh, no, not how to call it that way. It's just a pile driver. The Blood Bowl 3 pile, pile driver. That's what it is. That's it. That's <laughs> it. <laughs> He needs an armbar as well. It, he, he definitely needs an armbar, so he's got a power driver and armbar. Armbar, <laughs> oh, no, that would be funny. <laughs> but I keep remembering, I keep remembering, I keep forgetting to give him the uh, armbar. And then remembering when uh, when I'm doing the show and I'm like, oh yeah, he hasn't got... He needs to give armbar. He hasn't got armbar. It's a great way to finish, though. All done, Mock. Yes. That'll make him happy. That'll make him happy. Yeah, sticking up for his kid who was getting bullied by calcium. <laughs> <laughs> grandkid, not kid, grandkid. <laughs> I mean, hats off to him, hats off to him. You know, he can pull off that skin tight. Light crab thing <laughs> that you're wearing. Yeah, yeah, he's just you a know. very good job. Fair play to him, fair play to him. Triple threat next, triple threat. <laughs> yeah. Yep, triple threat. We've got Ghoul Face Killer, Le Bread Mask, and Bleeding Hippie. Um, you know, top plim plum plus away action. Yeah, absolutely. Going at it. Hammer and tongs. Uh, purple chest one. Purple chest one. Yeah. 
And thank you very much, as always, Basil, for doing the doing the predictions. Very, very nice of you. Thank you very much. Oh, actually, Basil, I think you're the person who needs to speak to about bots. Purple Chess said, because I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Basil, Basil's a bit of a genius. Yeah, so I might, if it's okay, Basil, I'll drop I'll drop you a PM just because um, I don't even know where to start. Even even Google confused me when I uh, googled free bots. <laughs> That's right. What? There is a Streamlabs chatbot, um, which is quite easy to to do. Oh, okay. Thanks, Bezel. Uh, yeah, I'll get in touch on the Discord somehow. Thank you. Just right. before while the intros are going, I'm just going to go and fill my wine up. But here's the Friday Night Fuckboy. Le Bread Mask. Oh. Plum, plum, plu. <laughs> oi, oi, oi. Every time I see GFK's entrance, I'm like, oh, this is cool, isn't it? I am replenished. Chorus. Yeah, so I'll sort some bots out. I mean, I'm not entirely sure it's worth it, because I'm only getting, like, three viewers at the most, so it's pretty pointless. But you know, it's nice to have the toys, isn't it? Yep. <laughs> Favourite bread? Uh, the kind of bread that you eat. That's my favourite. Mm. French French stick? Oh, t now, a tiger... A tiger bread is lovely, but a tiger, like, baguette thing, if you can get them, they're nice. Sourdough. That sounds like something vegans would eat. <laughs> Everybody pick a bread. <laughs> yeah. French stick. That's funny, isn't it? Like, that's what we call baguettes. <laughs> Probably Americans haven't heard that, have they? That's What's a that? British thing, isn't it? Or maybe it's a northern thing. French stick. Instead French of stick? No, I know what a French stick is. Yeah. But it's like that whole, what do you call it? Like, wh wh where I'm originally from, the Fens. You have a bacon roll, so it's a roll. Yeah. But when I moved to Nottinghamshire, and like it's not called roll anywhere. It's it's just a cob. All right. And I guess up north there's like uh, what is it? You'll know. Uh, Stotties? Is it Stotties? Yeah. They're yeah. Big, they're bigger, aren't they? Is that right? Yeah, they're not. Yeah, they're different. They're weird, Scotty. Uh, roll apps. Yeah. 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 yeah, bombs, yeah, bomb cakes. Bomb cakes, that's it, bomb cakes. It's not even a cake, is it? Mm. And there was someone uh, there was someone else from down south, uh, Manchester. <laughs> and he said yeah, rounds yeah. instead of slices rounds. of, you know, slices no, of bread. Yeah, round, round of bread, yeah, round of bread. Yeah. Um, technically, I'm from Peterborough originally, so I don't class that as up north. No, no, that's, that's south. But I have such a weird mash of accents. Because I don't originally, like I say, from Fens. I don't speak like that anymore because I've. Yeah, but it depends where you are, I guess. It's north if you live in um, Brighton. <laughs> or the Isle of Wight. <laughs> <laughs> who was the fucking guy who was the manager of Peterborough? Which one? Barry Fry, you're thinking. Yeah, of, Barry you? Fry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He was great, wasn't he? Yeah, I, I used to have a season ticket when uh, Barry Fry was manager. Oh, glorious! He's still there, you know. He's still there. He's his title is director of football. Oh wow! Holy shit! The bread masks shoulders fucked. 
already. Yeah, look at it, it's fucked. <laughs> you sure Hard rock, you, you must be, are you in Cornwall or somewhere like that? Barry Fry. Barry Fry, because now we've got um, Ferguson's lad. Oh, really? Yeah. Darren Ferguson. You know, the wife beater. Oh, really? Yeah. Bloody hell. Yeah, he's, he's now back for his third tenancy. Ah, okay. oh, Portsmouth, yeah, that makes sense. He's doing alright, though. We're in the championship next season. Not going not gonna to grumble about that. Yeah. It's always nice to get promoted to the championship last season, then just come straight back down. <laughs> yeah. Portsmouth. Ooh. How south is Portsmouth? How south is Portsmouth? Sounds like a children's book. <laughs> yeah. That's How what I was going for. I'm <laughs> not sure I'd want to read a children's book written by you. <laughs> <laughs> There'd be so many hidden innuendos in it. <laughs> well, not even hidden. <laughs> no, not really. Oh, Portsmouth. That, that's, that's north for people who live in... Uh... <laughs> Wolf Isle of Wight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's pretty south end Portsmouth, isn't it? Yeah, about level with Southampton. Oh, fair enough. But, uh, you know, Manchester's south for me. It was funny, people like people were calling Manchester, people from Manchester Northern. Where, where, are, from you, from where are you, Jimmy? Newcastle as well was from well Gateshead even 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 my sister in laws from uh, Hexham so I I spent some time in Hexham they lived there for a few years uh, I even taught in a school in Bladen ah. well there's one of my favourite here's a story for you one of Throwex stories when I <laughs> went, when I went to Bladen. I did like three weeks teaching practice there and there were two twins that, that started the day after I started and they were excluded by dinner time because they'd broken into the PE cupboard. A year, year four, so like nine and ten years old, might have been year five. They'd, they'd both got two rounders bats each from the PE cupboard. I was just walking around the playground tonking everyone on the head. <laughs> awesome. So yeah, they were ex literally, they were like the, the craze of Bleeder wow. at age 10. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when I was a kid, I must have been like, I, I don't, really don't know how old I was before I went to like the bigger school. So I was between like, you know, what, five and seven or something, some, something like that. And there were two girls in, in like the year and they were like both really, really massive and like, Everyone, all the boys were terrified of them because, like, they could just beat us up. <laughs> and, like, do you know what I mean? Cause, like, they were just giant. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Like, it's crazy you now, isn't it? Because even, like, the biggest girls. Oh, what's going on here? There we go. Great boo. Sorry, Jimmy. Carry on. Yeah, even, like, the biggest girls, you know, they're, they're still girls, aren't they? But when you're a kid, like, when you're a little kid, girls, like, they were just scary. They were just, like, giants. Yeah. It was crazy. I, I taught a year six girl called Demi, who was like that. And I remember speaking to her because I'd caught her smoking in her toilet. And uh, she proper swung for me. And I, and I literally had to move my head back, otherwise she'd have taken it clean off. <laughs> Holy shit, what a manoeuvre. Oh, nice. I'll see if I can find this picture. Is it, I've got a funny picture of, uh, of the tall ones. Or is one of the tall ones? I just look for this. You you can do, commentate on the match. I will. I will. <laughs> I just look for a picture. Oh, here we go. Vertical suplex, but interrupted. Interrupted. 
And the bread mask was, oh, he was doing all right, but we've got some proper wrestling going on here now. Working the arm. Boy, howdy. Ooh. <laughs> what a girl. <laughs> <laughs> Goes in for the pin. No, he kicks out on two. Kicks out on two. Now he's working the lower back. Doing a bit of showing off. This is definitely Friday. Definitely Friday. Ooh. Ooh, so close. Shoulder still glitched out. Ooh. This is it, surely. Nope. Kicks out on two. Kicks out on two. Red mask taking control again. Big boot to the face. Ooh. Oh, DDT. DDT. He's always oh, getting up for another go, but he's reversed it. <laughs> How he's done that after that DDT, I do not know. Ooh. This is its power move after power move. Someone's got to give soon, surely. Yep. Here we go, here we go. Oh, that was kind of a bit anticlimactic with the run against the rope and then just stamping it. I've done it again, I'm behind. <laughs> <laughs> Another power move. <laughs> there we go. Now we're back in time again. Glorious. It is just one after another. Here comes the pin. Out of out on two again. No one is giving in this game. No one. No one is giving an inch. Unless it's PC, but he's already played. <laughs> Poor old PC only, <laughs> only has an inch to give. <laughs> <laughs> Whee! Hey, Jimmy! <laughs> Whee! <laughs> <laughs> I do love it, Dimmy. He's gone. <laughs> he's gone. He's down to two. We're down to two. <laughs> Fuck <Wee>. off, Dimmy. <laughs> Definitely Friday. Oh, what a move Wee. from Hippie. <gasps> oh, let me show you something. See if I can do it in chat. Is it your boobies? Nope. That's, I, that would just be me sending you that on your own. Okay, good. Look what I did. It's <laughs> 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 yeah, pretty good, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, in the midst of that, hippie, 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 the giant. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> Very impressive. Yeah, I thought I thought I'd stick it as an <laughs> emote. <laughs> Pretty good. Put me a bit. Oh, here we go. Here's the pit. <laughs> that wasn't the final. It was elimination, wasn't no, it? Got that, it. Wasn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it. Bleeding happy is the winner. Wee. It took me about it took me about three hours to do. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking oh, about, Tom Schnees. It is Friday. It is Friday today. And um, it was a great win. The bleeding Hippie today, which is Friday. It's definitely Friday. And that was definitely, definitely a loss Friday. for the Friday Night Fuckboy. And now. <laughs> <laughs> and now it's time for another Friday night matchup. It's the fucking rats up against North and South. 
Nice. Yeah, we haven't seen uh, the fucking rats for a while. They've been licking their wounds since losing their title match um, uh. at Backlash. I guess they're trying to find a, trying to get themselves a match at Hell in a Cell, which is coming up like next week. Very Ooh. soon, almost as if I'd totally forgotten about it and not cared about it at all. There's been no build-up whatsoever, so hopefully that's going to get sorted out very quickly. <laughs> Fuck me. But never mind. I've had bigger fish to fry, like snot coming out of my eye. <laughs> Conjunctivitis. <laughs> yes. That's what said. <laughs> yes, conjunctivitis, yes. <laughs> oh dear. So yeah, let's let's put let's put a bit of a dampener on sorting things out. I don't mind. No, well, it's understandable, you know. That's what happens if you take take your eye off something. Whee! Whee! Oh, I reminded me of joke the last match, uh, but I think we're too old to understand it actually. See if anyone gets it. How does Harry Potter move down a hill? No idea. Walking. JK, rolling. See, I, I think we're all a bit too old, right? Because JK means joking yeah, yeah, in the new... Doesn't. Yeah. Got it. It's just terrible, isn't it? It's, it's terrible. terrible yeah. But I just... I didn't say it was any good. I just said it was a joke. Ban him! <laughs> ban! Ban him! <laughs> <laughs> like I said, I didn't say it was good. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> you all love it. You all love it. <laughs> Fuck, I love this. I think I just cancelled out my Dubai joke. <laughs> I need to get me a rat suit like that. <laughs> oh, I do remember these guys. I remember. They've been successful in singles competition. Haven't really found success as the as the partnership yet, but you never know. Yes, Dimmy. See, Dimmy. <laughs> see, you missed the joke, but that was the joke, but told in a different way. <laughs> well, I hope you're proud, Troy, that you're on Dimmy's level. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always proud that I'm on Dimmy's level. <laughs> I just think if me and Dimmy were left in a room together, we, we'd get on for years. <laughs> Liquid pit chum. I mean, not really, of course. Everyone knows I bet, who I bet Dimmy Quiz pit chum really was. That's so we do know that. I bet uh, Dimmy would like this one as well. What's Forrest Gump's password? One forest, one. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck's sake. <laughs> I'll stop now, I won't do any more. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, I'm done, I'm done. I've got, I've got four kids, I'm full of dad jokes. Oh, God. Johnny! Exactly. She was a cunt, wasn't she? Whoops. I mean, it's okay because <laughs> these videos often get demonetized anyway. But <laughs> what a what a what a shithead she was in the, in the movie. Yeah, she wasn't very nice to it, was she? She was scum. <laughs> right, and on that note, <laughs> I quite like the movie though. Yeah, yeah, it's good. Yeah, I can't remember it like it's so long, but I liked it when I saw it. Oh, look cool. at that double team. That double team was glorious then. It was. A lot of times what happens if you watch a movie back that you've last seen like 20 years ago, it's a bit crap, isn't it, when you watch it again, so... I kind of don't want to watch it again, so I'll just always think it was good. <laughs> Put 
best film ever made, so it's doing it. Sure, I'm not sure about that. It's, I mean, it's up there, alongside one of my favourites, Come Guzzlers 5. <laughs> uh, holy shit! Can we say that? I'm not sure we can. Well, you said the C word, so I thought I could get away with that. Oh my god, that's ridiculous, though, I reckon. <laughs> Bastard, I was going to wait a little bit and say three was the best. You fuckers. <laughs> Pair of bastards. Oh dear. Yeah, I was gonna wait a little bit longer, but then unfortunately <laughs> chat came in and usurped it. <laughs> oh dear. I always find that a really hard uh, question. Not which is my favourite Congress, <laughs> but which is my favourite film. Because yeah. it all I think it all depends on what mood you're in, right? Yeah, I don't know. I think Terminator is probably my favourite. Terminator. Yeah, it's really good, isn't it? I think Leon was up there for me for a long, long time. Mm. It's probably stupid, though, isn't it? Like, I don't remember it. <laughs> Aliens, yeah. That's a good film. Yeah. Alien and Aliens. Naked Gun Two and a Half's on Netflix at the minute, which I'm thoroughly enjoying. Bit of nostalgia. I mean, Terminator was better than Terminator Two, wasn't it? Although, although they're different mo movies, different styles. Now, that was the good thing that Alien and Aliens and Terminator and Terminator Two didn't did was that they made them like the sequels different kinds of movies, didn't they, to the original? So, that normally when they do a sequel, the sequel's just a shit remake isn't it basically yeah whereas at least they like kind of changed genres didn't they for uh between alien and aliens. yeah I, th I mean the thing the thing is htk i mean the, the one i said was, was a made-up uh, <laughs> movie you're clear, clearly stating a, a genuine movie which i haven't seen uh, but i would like to i didn't even know that was a thing it's funny because i i made the blood bowl team have called hard brett's hit which was pretty good <laughs> but, um, 12, 12 inches of sleep. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Right, let's stop oh, now. Let's stop there now, yeah. Let's stop. Because uh, we could go on forever. Yeah. It's <laughs> TKZ. Oh, there's the cord breaker. Is this it, Francie? Oh. I'm not Googling that. <laughs> <laughs> Forest Hump. <laughs> I think I think we've all seen Flesh Gorda though, because that's a classic, isn't it? Yeah, I've seen. That. I don't remember it at all. I remember Flash Gordon a little bit. Flash Gordon's got Peter Duncan in it. He's got so many celebrities in it. Yeah. Peter Duncan from Blue Peter, and of course, uh, Brian Blessed. Yeah. Queen yeah, oh, please stop with these these titles, man. Yeah, stop it, please. Please stop. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Diana, oh, God. <laughs> right. Stop it, please, HD. Everyone just stop talking. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Oh, yeah. <sighs> I feel slightly responsible, because... That all came from my Forrest Gump joke. Yes. Which was terrible. Yes. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, back to the wrestling. Yep. Another bit of double team action going on now. <laughs> Just Here like we go. <laughs> 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 oh, <dear>. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Stamping on the ass cheeks. <laughs> yep. He doesn't want any more, but he's going to get some more. Look at that. Oh, I bet PC could do a great Gordon's Alive boy. I bet he could, yeah. Gordon's Alive! <laughs> <laughs> and Timothy Dalton was in it as well, wasn't he? He's sticking Timothy Dalton was in, in it. Holes. Yeah. Along with Peter Duncan. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Oh, 
was a good movie, the old uh, Flash Gordon. Well, remember. Yeah, Richard O'Brien. Yeah, Richard O'Brien. I remember it being good. Whether it was or not, probably was shit. But. That's the thing, isn't it? Richard Baker. Are you <laughs> sure? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's got to be over. Pulp Fiction was pretty good, wasn't it? Yeah, here's, here's a little fact for you. Oh. I live in Mansfield. Uh, I used to live in Mansfield, just down the road now. But Richard Bacon comes from Mansfield. And his the mom... Richard Bacon? Yeah. Which Richard from, Bacon? From Big Breakfast? Yeah, and Blue Peter Cocaine fame. All right. Um... And his mom is the chair of governors of my kid's school. Was. Wow. Yeah, there you go. There you go. He was quite good on the big breakfast, Richard Bacon. He was brilliant on the big breakfast. I see, I, I always liked Richard Bacon. Mm. You can call him Dick Bacon. <laughs> I wouldn't like to eat that. <laughs> <laughs> Roger Black. Gaza, Gaza went to my school, so there you go. Fucking beat that cut. <laughs> I mean, whoops, I didn't mean to, I didn't mean to swear that. I mean, <laughs> That's twice, Jim. Three, yeah. three strikes and you're out, surely. Yeah. I mean, Roger Black, okay, he's an Olympian, but he only ever got fucking silver, didn't he? Whereas Gaza's the best English footballer to have ever lived. Not really, he's most talented, maybe. Most entertaining. Maybe most talented, right? Because he didn't uh, really definitely didn't was really, some talent. Didn't really strike you as the most uh, <laughs> the, like the, no. the most training man, was he? And like, Gaza was a was a great footballer. Yeah, he was great, but it was like obviously he had to like train a bit and that, didn't he? But like he drunk loads and stuff, didn't he? Like he didn't. Yeah. Yeah, it was a it was a yeah it was a bit like Bestie, but not on the same quite as the same level. Yeah. David Batty. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's Dean yeah. Batty, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's loads of fucking Gaza stories, isn't there? Ooh. This has got to come to an end soon, it's been going on for a while. Yeah, I'm really bored of it. Can we just skip? <laughs> 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 Yeah, the fish, yeah, loads of things, isn't there? There's absolutely loads of uh, there's loads of Gaza, there's loads of good Gaza stories. My um, daughter goes to the same school, or one of my daughters goes to the same school as Joe Root, the cricketer. Oh, wow. Well, obviously he's not still there. <laughs> yes, Bezel, he attended there. He probably didn't study there as a kid. I can't imagine Gaza studying at school, but um, he attended when he was a child. <laughs> there you go. Oh, how do you flip something that size? <laughs> flip me, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this dude is where he's meant to attend. Oh, Dimmy, I don't doubt you flips bigger, my friend. <laughs> When the beer goggles are on. <laughs> it's like Godzilla versus Mothra. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go, the three amigos. Ferdinand, Shira and Espria. Oof. Snap suplex is coming up. Boom. A trio of them. <laughs> I guess you're watching the. Uh, <laughs> I guess you're watching the. Uh... Oh, sorry, I've done it again. <laughs> Damn it. 
Uh, the giveaway is the old minute minute old commentary. <laughs> <laughs> Apologies, I need to get good at this. <laughs> oh, he gets the hot oh, tag. The tag's to in. Yeah, he gets the tag in. Now I'm watching the uh, the right timing of it all. It makes a lot more sense. <laughs> Oh, kick in the back. For those watching a little bit later, <laughs> kick in the back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck about. Oh, look Ooh. at the move now. Great move. Here comes the pin. He's got him! Got him. Oh my god, North and South. South. Win. What a win! From out of nowhere. Being the fucking rat. I'd like to say that uh, there was a lot going on in that match, which I was entertained by, but it would be lying. Yeah, I'm just glad it ended. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we, we were entertained by Thoris Gump jokes and what followed. Yes. Yeah, and it was a good performance, wasn't it? You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Vindaloo, Vindaloo. Yeah, because there's a Vindaloo too, isn't there? Like a NHS thing. Yeah, it is. It is. Uh, well, I saw um, who was it? Bez. I saw Bez on it. Yeah. But I didn't. I didn't recognise him. Oh, I recognised. And I was like, I had to have a good couple of looks. And I was like, oh, it's Bez. <laughs> yeah. It just made me feel really old. Yeah, he's so fucking old, isn't he? <laughs> fucking white-haired Bez. I was like, fucking hell, it's Bez. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it made me feel very old. Yeah, fucking... Oh, God, Will fucking Meller. I'm not a fan of Will Meller, Meller at the best of times. And no. You couldn't really tell it was fucking... What's he called? Uh, you know, Cockney Bastard. Ansi. Ansi should have been the main guy in it, because he was like, I, I don't know. I guess he's the most famous one in it, isn't he? But then, you know, they could have had more of the other dude, you know, the uh, the funny one. There was a funny guy involved, wasn't there? What was he called? For what? Um, in that video, talking? there was a funny guy in the video. Oh, it's um, Alan, isn't it? What's his name? Something Allen. Lily Allen's dad. Oh, that was the, that was the original, wasn't it? He was, he was the... Yeah, but he's in it as well. He is, Keith yeah. Allen. Keith Allen. Yeah. Keith But no, there was someone... Oh, fuck off, Keith Lemon. Keith there Lemon, yeah. funny. I said there was someone funny, not that. Cunt. Right, there's the third one. Um... That's <laughs> it. Oh, bam. <laughs> right. Um, Burn it, man. If you do that, you're going to get my little emoji again, because it's funny. I don't know, it's probably from Bo is he from Bolton, you know, and he goes, I'm shitting bangers here. Paddy McGuinness, there you go, Paddy McGuinness. It's oh, great, yeah. isn't he? So they could have made like him, like... <laughs> They could have made him the main one, or Danny Dyer the main one, and they made fucking Will Meller the main one. Jesus Christ, fuck off. So hey, that... why, why, why have we got our pictures up on the co as the commentators? What's going on there? Yeah, don't do it for, don't do it for the rest of them. Maybe you should. I don't know. We've never had oh, that. Oh, yeah, never probably wouldn't. Um, God, I hate Keith Lemon. I genuinely hate him. Whatever the names, guy's name is. Don't, like show, don't show Keith your teeth. And all of that. Yeah, uh, yeah I, I've never really been into it. Well, I liked I liked him when he was, you know, doing uh, Bo Selector and that. Taking the, taking the piss out of all yeah. the celebrities. But then... It just transpired that he just wanted to suck them off all the time, didn't he? And that's why he was doing it to actually, like, you you know, his fucking, what was it, Avid Merrion, wasn't it? Was the Avid Merrion in Big Brother, when he did the Big Brother thing. Yeah, and his fucking, his fucking uh, cast and that, that's the, that's the real one, isn't it? That's, like, really him, he just really was, like, just a massive fucking stalker type who wanted desperately, yeah. desperately for celebrities to like him. And then, obviously, Keith Lennon, he's got that, but I just fucking think he's a cunt. I've done it again. Well, you, let's, well, you're back to square one. We'll call that the first one. 
No, no, it's all right. I, I'll just got to remember to write that this one's swear heavy when I, uh, when I upload to YouTube. <laughs> It's okay, you, you can say cunt as long as you don't monetize it, see? <laughs> and as long as you say there's swearing in this, you can say cunt as much as you want. But if you don't say there's cunt in it, you can't say cunt. Gotcha. So I'll make sure I don't say that. <laughs> yeah, now you can say cunt as much as you want. Cunt, cunt, <laughs> cunt, cunt, cunt. <laughs> that means we're free to talk about the Blood Bowl 3 beta, which is good, because now, it's, <laughs> now, now that I've got a free... Well, I've, uh, I've seen uh, some... Really positive praise for it on Facebook. Oh well. Okay. No, I'd like, no, no. I'm going to stop saying. Cunt. I don't. I don't think they knew what they were talking about. No. I don't really want to talk about the Blood Bowl Three beta. I just meant because we can say cunt. Oh, <laughs> yeah, man, exactly. I, 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 got it. <laughs> I stupidly fell into a Facebook Blood Bowl community <laughs> argument with a troll oh, about no. stalling. Oh. No. Uh, and I just wish I hadn't. Oh, no. Well, I, I don't, the thing is, I don't think he was a troll. I just don't think he understood. Anything. <laughs> Anything. The fucking dab it was, from Ducky. <laughs> <laughs> it was one of those... You know, and I was probably the same at one point. You know, you get the guys that have only played TT in their league of five friends. And yeah. because they're the best, therefore... They are amazing. Yeah. Yeah, he's one of them. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, he I was, was like that. We pro Probably most people in Fumble were like that, weren't they? And yeah, I think absolutely right. Fumble. I certainly was. I remember going to Fumble going, <laughs> easy. Oh, I've, I've actually lost 20 games in, in a row. <laughs> I haven't even got anywhere close to winning. <laughs> <laughs> well, and that was my, my point. Was But basically, the, the whole argument he had was that uh, the rules should change to disallow stalling and score when you can. Wow. Um, yeah. And I, and loads of people were saying stuff, but I managed to engage with him a little bit more than I probably should have done. Yeah. Um, Try to, you know, you know you know what I'm like. I'm not a horrible person. I'm just, you know, maybe you should think about it this way kind of thing. Uh, and then he just was to the point of ridiculousness. So I just lost it a little bit. <laughs> But it was fine. It was fine. And then the account, the, then the um, thread got locked by the admins. <laughs> but it was like, and he, what was annoying was he kept referring to. It was like you don't see the NFL, you know, the NFL really kind of try to promote scoring and stuff like that. And I was like, but the NFL don't have orcs in armor running around trying to kill people <laughs> either. So. Anyway, it was it was long wind, a bit more long winded than that, but it was bloody ridiculous. Yeah, and that was my point, Pepper Biscuit. The NFL does have stalling, but he didn't he didn't see that. It was one of those. Well, I can have my opinion, but you're wrong. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, and this is what we're, many people, Pepper Biscuit, trying to explain to him that stalling is a part of the game. <laughs> I did not ask him what his favourite film was. No. Well, this is what he was saying. It was, yeah, basically. I mean, the thread is still there. On, if you are on Blood Bowl Community on Facebook, it's still there. Um, it's just been locked, so you can't comment. But yeah, it just didn't make any sense at all. Really wound me up. <laughs> I very rarely get around by anything, but that really wound me up. Oh, this is the ducky foul. Look at this. Oh, here we go. They're stamping around. Oh, I'm watching the right thing. Yes, I am. Oh. Hey, Narium. Stomps all over him. Hey, buddy. Oh, hey, Narium. He got him. He's done. Yeah. Ducky is the winner. He is. Yeah, I remember that clip of this guy. I'm with the Patriots one time. They, like, they got out of this guy's way to, like, try and let him score. And he, like, he got it. And he, he knew he shouldn't have done and <laughs> he just like he kind of fell back and just couldn't help himself and score and it was brilliant it was so funny he like turned around and like fell in the end zone the thing is I mean the whole bit about well, there's taking the knee as well right so people take the knee don't they to run out of the clock I think yeah, yeah. Um, I, I mean I see that in you know you in little leagues amongst friends stalling can probably be a bit boring 
But, you know, in a competitive scene, it's a valid tactic. And it, I mean, we're going to talk about it on the next podcast. But it's a valid tactic. And I think the people that go, no, Stalling's rubbish. Because I used to be one of these people that go, I don't understand Stalling. It's rubbish. You, it's so much. It's just so boring for the opponent. Do you know what? Tough. Don't want me to stall. Play better. Exactly. Or roll better. Or roll better. And this exactly pepper biscuit. That was that was the whole premise of the conversation. But he just didn't get it. There was it doesn't matter who was explaining it or how it's explained, he just didn't get it. Well, some people are just assholes. And on that That's note, true. we've got dress for business up against <laughs> <laughs> the unnatural snackers. Absolutely glorious match here. The face do you know who Lemon is good's face is? Can you tell who that whose face that is? Mm. Probably not. It's uh, it's Henry Cavill's face. There you go. Is it? Yeah. I mean, I did it, but it it doesn't look it doesn't look that unlike him. Um, He's a lemon for a start. Yeah, like if he wasn't a lemon. <laughs> um, I should I should show you the uh, picture because it's. It's it's genuinely not that bad. It looks like Henry Cavill, but then he's like a uh, he's like a lemon, a lemon Henry Henry Cavill. Pretty good, eh? It's very good indeed, my friend. Very good indeed. <laughs> yeah, I saw I saw the result. Uh, um, Canor versus Rick was on earlier. Yeah, uh, what a match! Top of the table. Match. Exactly, Bezel. Exactly. That, that's what I was trying to say, yeah. <laughs> that's what I was trying to get at. Well, let's not have any spoilers. <laughs> no, I get it. No, I get it. Ah, oh, giving out the old cereal treats. Oh yes, this is the unnerving, gyrating part. <laughs> Lady Destroyer, Jim. <laughs> Lukaku double looks good for my fantasy team. <laughs> that was the title. <laughs> my money is on the snackers. Do quite well. I know, but I'm hungry, so I went with my gut. Let's <laughs> <laughs> see what you did there. Hey, it was com that was a complete accident. I didn't even mean to get that put in. That was that was genuinely what I meant. <laughs> I am hungry. <laughs> <Oi. laughs> uh, Muppet is just dancing around with a trombone on the sideline. You know what, last night I watched the movie, um, London is... Falling? Um, falling, yeah. <laughs> or London has fallen, or whatever. Has fallen, yeah, London's fallen, or something like that, isn't it? Yeah. There's, a, there's a whole stream of them, isn't there? There's like, yeah, there's Olympus has fallen, and... Yeah. Was it any good? Um, it was terrible. <laughs> what's, his, what's his name? He was Leonidas, wasn't he? He was, yeah, yeah. Um, that's a good film. Three hundred's a good film. Yeah, Jared Butler. Jared Butler, that's. Yeah. 
Yeah, some, something happened. Oh, because I just turned on the telly and the news was on and they had the beef eaters and that reminded me, or oh, they're not the beef eaters at all, like the whatever. Some kind of guards, you know, some kind of guard. Like yeah, guards. yeah. The like guards. And, uh, and it reminded me of how stupid that movie was. It was uh, my wife used to date a grenadier guard. Oh. He was all right, not bad. Do you know what? I tell you what would look better than a lemon man. A cabbage man? A man with a cabbage head. <laughs> Surprised you'd say that. <laughs> uh, no, not not whilst with me. Oh but I do. I had met him before. Who is that supposed to be? A lemon is good. Is the lemon? In our area. Or the if you mean the other one it's Satterfield. The one with the tiny say. feet is Satterfield. When you say the weird dude in the ring, you're gonna have to narrow it down a little bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it rules out Muppet. The guy with the snake arms is Muppet. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny Five's on the uh, on the apron there. What is what is Satterfield doing here? I haven't seen this before. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it doesn't ever rule out anyone. Yeah, but well, he's not in the ring, though, right? Muppet is isn't isn't in the ring. And then Fan Fox is Lemon's tag team partner. I think Fan Fox needs his green uh, green boots back. I think we talked about Christopher Lambert one. Night on here, didn't we? Maybe. Or was that on PC stream? No, I think it was on PC stream. Because we talked about Christopher Lambert films in terms of like High, because Highlander had just come onto Netflix. Mm. Is it like Netflix? Yeah. yeah, I liked Highlander. Oh, because we were talking about the Christopher Lambert film when he was stuck in that like futuristic prison, and we couldn't we couldn't remember what it was called. And uh, I still can't remember what it's called now, even though I was told. Somebody will Google it. And, yeah, that's the one fortress. There you go. Fortress. I was only aware of one Christopher Lambert film ever, <laughs> which was <laughs> Highlander. Oh, no, and he was in Mortal Kombat as well. Yeah, he was going to say he was Raiden, wasn't he? Yeah. There you go. Two films he's ever been in. It's pretty good. Yeah, Fortress is a decent film. Christopher Lambert as well. I think we need to say, don't we? Not Christopher Lambert. That's Christopher what you, Lambert. That's what you could say. You could say. I knew, I knew somebody called Paul Lambert, so I called him Paul Lambert. <laughs> 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 because of Christopher Lambert. But um, but then I prefer to call Christopher Lambert Christopher Lambert anyway, but then I just thought it would be funny to call him Lambert. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was pretty hilarious to me. It was more hilarious for me because I called Christopher Lambert Christopher Lambert and nobody knew that I called Christopher Lambert Christopher Lambert because you don't normally talk about Christopher Lambert. So then you that don't. made it funnier that I called him Paul Lambert. I think, I think when you were in, yeah, but I think when you were at school, I had that there, there was a similar thing at my school. There was a girl uh, who said her name was Amy Burrell. It wasn't, it was Burrell. So we used to call her Amy Burrell. <laughs> What's your name? Amy Burrell. Well, it's Burrell, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, really, Otto was good, yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> I can't say his best line, unfortunately, because it's not, you can't, it's not, it's not funny to mention it anymore, is it? But his best line was in that movie, that horrible, horrible, horrible movie he was in with Stephen and uh, some other people. God. And um, what was that revolver? And that was, oh he had, yeah, he had a great line in that. Um, but he, yeah, just generally a good actor, isn't he? Was in. What, what what was his one that he was in? His big like gangster movie that he was most famous for, I guess. Uh, was that Goodfellas? Oh. Was it Goodfellas? Mm. Mm. Yeah, it was Goodfellas. Yeah, he was in Goodfellas. That's a good film. Mm. Although. Oh, because at the time they were quite popular, those gangster movies, so they all kind of roll into one. Yeah, they do, don't they? Yeah. Apart from Scarface. Yeah. 
It's like when I when I think of a scene, I'm like, now was that in Goodfellas? <laughs> Scott, was it in Casino? Also, it doesn't was help that, that fucking Joe Pesci plays the same character in fucking all of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> can you, yeah. Can you imagine in the, the, the casting? Right, we need a short, angry mafia guy. Can anybody think of anyone that would suit this role? <laughs> Yeah. Although to be fair, Joe Pesci in Casino was absolute gold. I thought he was brilliant in Casino. Yeah. And also in Home Alone, yeah. 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 Home Alone, one of the more violent movies he's been in. Goodfellas is a really good one, Better Biscuit. That's a really good one to watch. Yeah, my cousin Vinny. Yeah. Definitely don't watch Revolver. Whatever you do. I, my, my advice for everybody going through the rest of their life is if you haven't seen Revolver, don't watch it. No. Yeah, okay. So what's the one film that... Well, there's probably more than one that you would say, don't just don't even bother. Revolver. I've only ever walked out on one film ever in a cinema. And that was The Avengers. But not, hang on, but not Marvel. It was the terrible remake of the 60s TV program. Oh, wow. You know, the, as, do you know what I mean by yeah, the Avengers? Yeah, I know the Avengers, yeah, with a, with a foxy one. And it, yeah, and it was Sean Connery. Um, it was just, yeah, that's the one. Oh, here we go. It was Snack dreadful. Mass. Here we go. Whoosh. Bosh. That's got to be over. But can can Lemon get the pit? No, he can't interfere. Yes, he can. He takes well, he out can. the ref. Just takes out the ref. <laughs> 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 no, I said I liked that one. <laughs> I would. I, I if I had gone to see Shrek in the cinema, I would have walked out. I've never walked out of a cinema. Um, I tell you what movie I did stop watching. To be fair, like I wouldn't. I did go. I think I did see Revolver at the cinema because uh, I watched the whole thing. I think the only the only movie that I stopped watching was The Purge. There you go. Oh, did I like it? I hated it. I was terrible. Really? I was just unbelievably terrible. It was just too I much. I quite enjoyed me. The Purge. Did you? Yeah. It was too much for me. I, I quite enjoyed it. I couldn't stand watching it. I thought, what the fuck am I doing with myself? So I just stopped. Like, I wish I'd stopped watching Shrek. It's because I thought, this is as bad as Shrek. Um, I, I, <laughs> I mean, they are comparable, really, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, they're pretty much the same. <laughs> yeah, I think you know what, Pepper Biscuit. I think you're right. I think it's wasted potential. Yeah, like I really liked the idea of it, right? And like you know, I thought, oh, this is pretty cool. This is a cool concept. Like, obviously it's ludicrous, but I thought it's kind of yeah. cool, right? And then, and then, the and the snackers so, win. The yeah. snackers win. The movie was so ludicrous that I, uh, I just couldn't endure it. Well, I think I've, I don't know if you've seen the Amazon TV series of it. I um, but they made a, there's two series of it now. But actually, the first series is, is pretty good. Mm. Film I thought that was crap that I really enjoyed. What was going to be? Oh, I don't know. I don't, I don't think I've ever been surprised at a film being better than I thought it would be. Oh, maybe some Pixar shit. <laughs> That's a really good question, though. <laughs> That's a really good question. It's got to be. It's got to be. A, oh fuck! Is this? It's got to be. It's got to be a chick flick oh. or a or a Pixar shit, hasn't it? Because I I, I generally expect every chick flick to be shit. And every every Pixar shit to be shit. Um, yeah, I mean, Crank the Crank films were good. I like them. I knew they'd be good though. Like um, Frozen. I think, yeah, I mean, the whole thing with Frozen. I wasn't. I, I've been to see. I've got three daughters um, and a son, but I, I went to see it thinking it was going to be good because it was so big at the time. Oh yeah, Night's Tale was all right. To giggle. Oh, Event Horizon. There you go. We talked about that before, oh, didn't we? I, that was disappointed. I watched that thanks to your Did you? recommendation. Did you not like it? It was terrible. Ah. Uh, see, I thought it was going to be terrible because I wasn't really knowing what I was going into, and I absolutely loved it. 
<laughs> it's, my, it's my kind of film. Uh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> right, well now it's time for the now it's time for the main event. <laughs> Secretly enjoyed for I haven't watched Frozen, I don't watch any of kids movies when I'm gonna have kids. Apart from Shrek. Would you argue that Shrek Shrek was a kids movie? Yeah, but that's everyone I knew recommended it. Oh, hey, Wanga. And I watched it and I was like, why, what the fuck's wrong with you, fuckers? Oh, this is the main event, isn't it? It is, yeah. Wow. <laughs> Sorry, sometimes I feel when I'm commentating, we just we just digress quite quite a lot. So I apologise <laughs> yeah. for that. And so, uh, yeah. I don't know, I, I just thought it was a bit... I, I might have to re-watch it, because I haven't watched it in about 16 years, so... Yeah, see, I think that's a, a lot of things that you watched 16 years ago, you thought were good at the time, and then... It's good not watching them again, isn't it? You're watching the game, you think, actually, it was a bit shit. Team America oh. was probably the last good movie that I watched, from, like, you know, chronologically. Yeah, I mean, I think... I remember watching Little Miss Sunshine and thinking this is going to be terrible and I think I quite enjoyed that I'll tell you what is worth watching. I think I think it's on Netflix at the minute. But I don't know if you've uh, Jim Carrey. Um, if you ever watched Man in the Moon, where he plays Andy Kaufman. Oh yeah, I think. Have I've you seen, seen Man in the Moon? Have you watched the documentary where it's uh, it documents Jim Carrey being Andy Kaufman? I don't think I have. Oh mate, watch it. It is. It it just goes insane. He literally takes. He, he literally becomes like outside of acting and outside of recording. He becomes Andy Kaufman, mm -hmm. and like he just causes so much hassle on set <laughs> and with all the other actors. It is brilliant. It's really good. I think I can't remember what it's called, cool. um, but it's on there. Yeah, I've seen Naked Gun and Naked Gun Two and a Half and Naked Gun Thirty. Gun Thirty Three and a Third. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love them. And did you watch all the Police Squad episodes? Yeah, I watched all police oh, squad. Yeah. They were great. Yeah. Obviously airplane. Yeah. And don't call me Shirley. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I am serious. Well here we go, this is the main <laughs> event that everyone cares about. <laughs> I like I like the fucking tattoo that Squirrel's got now. <laughs> Edward Penis hands. <laughs> oh, that was shite. I fucking did see that. That was terrible. Scissor hands. That was terrible. What a terrible movie. There's a chick flick di disguised as like a dude with claws. So you think, oh, this is going to be fucking cool. And no, he's not Freddy fucking Krueger, is he? It's just fucking bull bullshit. Hated it. <laughs> so who is your money on? Wanger. Always Wanger. Hello, Fault Force. Always wanger. Always wanger. <laughs> Squire L dude. <laughs> I did I did have an idea actually. That I could run you know like the whole ECW phase. Yeah. Uh, ran alongside WWE. As a rival competitor, yeah, I did think about running one alongside yours on different nights, but then uh, accumulating at some point, I thought that would be pretty funny. Yeah, we could, but, we could do. But then that requires a hell of a lot of effort from me. So, <laughs> <laughs> so you forgot about it. <laughs> and I was like, "Oh, that's a good idea." 
Yeah. I'll, da I'll download Roller Coaster Tycoon instead. <laughs> Brilliant. Ooh. I don't know. I think Squirrel Dude could have this. Yeah, he could. I mean, he's the champ. He's the champ. Absolutely. Wouldn't be surprised Ooh. if Squirrel won. Oh, wontons. Are they crispy wontons? Or just your standard soggy ones? <laughs> no one wants a soggy wonton. He prefers soggy biscuits, doesn't he? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? I think Cars 2 is the is the film that I thought that was was all right that I thought would be terrible. <laughs> yeah, I get cars too. I understand that. <laughs> Although it's stupid that the that the F one car didn't just fucking win. Because <laughs> it's a fucking yeah, F1 where, car. Where is the realism in these Pixar movies? Honestly, stupid in it. Take your fucking stupid American car and shove it up your ass. Of course, the fucking F one car just wins easily. Duh, stupid Americans. Oh, angle change. There we go. He's a car that can't even fucking turn right, but he beats a fucking... He beats an F1 car. Fuck off. <laughs> I would love to see a letter of complaint to them. <laughs> I'm expecting, like, some letter from a little Timmy. <laughs> and yeah. instead they just get tired of abuse. <laughs> <laughs> you know how ridiculous this is in your film. <laughs> But yeah, I thought that was going to be terrible. Like, I'll tell you what, I have watched back recently, really which I did go and see at the cinema, and then watched it back recently, was I went to see a Blair Witch Project at the cinema. Oh, yeah. And then re-watched it, and I just didn't do the same for me at all. Mm. I know I'd seen it before, but I think at the cinema it was very different. Mm. But I did, I think I just, did I tell you I went to see Jurassic Park? I think I did last time. That holds up at the cinema still. Yeah, nice. Jurassic World didn't. I watched that with my no, buddies. No. I watched that with my buddies and it was just like, we were pissing ourselves laughing because it was so bad. Oh, oh. Squirrel managed to break up the, uh, the super kick attempt. Oh, and the second time. Living a charmed life here, Squirrel dude. <laughs> I have a no bit of this kid. And, uh... <laughs> yeah, I did actually fall force, yeah. <laughs> I did watch it with Pink Cop and Baldy. And another guy who I didn't Ooh. invite to Jim Con. Which, really, I guess I should have done, but I just didn't. Oh! Oh, he's over already! A oh. very quick match, that was. He really likes wrestling, but I don't think he watches this. Um... I think he kind that's of probably, fell out with That's me. probably why he doesn't watch it. Yeah, I think he kind of fell out with me. Um, so there you go. Scam. Well, hang up was robbed. Yeah, twice he went for the twice he went for the super kick. Yeah, he did. Yeah. If he yeah. nailed it, maybe he would have won. But Squirrel Dude was was wise to the threat and managed to uh, pick up the double the double U. YRL, dude. <laughs> yes, if it was real oh, life, yes. Tom. If it was real life, then Wanger would be pretty much unbeaten, wouldn't he, I imagine. Or maybe Tony, actually, right? Tony and his well, Hang on a minute, hang on a minute. JFW is real life, is it not? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, I mean, it's real, right? It's not predetermined like fucking WWE. <laughs> anyway, that's all we've got time for tonight. Um, brilliant of you to commentate. Thank you very much, Thry. Very nice of you. Pleasure. Always love it. Always. <laughs> Always a pleasure. Never a chore. And uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.